Hey guys, I'm Ith here for Phone Radar and this is the unboxing and a hands-on on the Sony Xperia Z3. We have been using this device from the past uh, few days and this is the demo unit, that's a review unit which was uh, sent to us by Sony and uh, this is what you get on the front of the package. There's no pricing information on this package nor uh, any other accessories in this package which we were expecting should would have been in this but uh, it's all missing and uh, the Xperia Z3 is available in three different color variants as you can see here comes with a 4k video recording the X reality for mobile uh, triluminous uh, display a 5.2 inches uh, display with a very good uh, PPI that's 424 this is a copper uh, color and as, as it's clearly mentioned it's a demo unit and not for sale now let us uh, take a quick look so here is the smartphone Overall, a uh, very different uh, kind of uh, form factor when compared with the Z2. Yes, the structure or the shape still remains the same, but on the sides you can clearly see that uh, there's a major difference. And uh, this one looks uh, better and feels also better when compared to the Z2. That's the earlier variant which was launched a few months back. Now Sony is on a deal to launch a flagship smartphone every six months on an average and uh, this is what you get after six months of their earlier launch and on the left you have the magnetic dock which is again not yet uh, sold in India and was the same case for the Z2. On the right you have the volume rockers with the on off switch and the dedicated camera shutter button with also a slot for the micro SD card. On the bottom there is nothing while on the top you have the 3.5mm headset jack. Let us boot up the device and uh, check out what all comes screenshot onto the same. It comes with the Android 4.4 uh, KitKat and uh, has the 20.7 megapixel camera with a 2.2 megapixel camera on the front. Let's skip the setup and uh, proceed with the home screen. So as you can see we have few different home screens here with a few different uh, widgets and uh, information mentioned there. The best part is uh, the camera on this device which we have been impressed with. We will be showing you a few uh, demos of uh, what all we found in terms of the cameras and the captures of the same. So here is the app drawer and the big list of different applications which come pre-installed. As you can see there is a lot of uh, useless applications list which comes pre-installed and uh, this is something which Sony should have been made a uh, note of and should have at least ensured that these all are grouped under one folder and uh, should have also given us option to uninstall the same but uh, nonetheless this is what you get and uh, these are the Google Play applications under a group folder. The Sony entertainment applications that's the Sony Live, Live Sports and the Sony Music. Here you get access to the recent applications and also you can uh, have the small apps that's the small uh, shortcut to few of the favorite applications which you can set them here and this is the notifications area along with which you also have the quick settings let's go to the settings and uh, give a quick check onto the same and uh, about phone as you can see the device comes with the android 4.4.4 .4 kitkat and uh, also has the qualcomm uh, 2.5 gigahertz uh, snapdragon processor and it's the Snapdragon 801 processor and uh, the GPU is Adreno 330 with a 3GB of RAM along with which you get uh, internal storage of 16GB which I was really hoping that the Sony would have pushed 32GB or 64GB as a minimum at least this time but you still get the 16GB uh, option and the best part is the battery which we have been experiencing a great experience out of it it's of 3100mAh and has been uh, optimized to the best under storage as you can see we have around 5.26 GB available but again this is not out of the box we'll just mention you what's actually available out of the box because we have installed a few applications and uh, that has actually taken up a decent amount of storage. Let us uh, go to the camera application and uh, show you the options which come up on the application. So as you can see here we have the camera app wherein you have a different uh, aspect ratios the self timer. Uh, this is for the photos and this is again for the videos. You have the steady shot option for intelligent uh, active mode and uh, you can also enable or disable the wife, uh, microphone. The quick launch, geo tagging, touch to capture, use volume keys as zoom and uh, along with that you have different uh, camera apps 
out of which the background defocus works flawlessly. Here are a few samples which you can check out uh, to get an idea on uh, the camera samples which we just captured out of the camera and uh, you can clearly see that the camera is doing a mind-blowing job and uh, has we have we can clearly see there's a great improvement uh, when compared to the sony xperia z2 which was also doing a decent job at the 20 megapixel uh, camera and this one has been optimized uh, in a better way so this was a quick hands-on and the uh, unboxing of the sony xperia z3 don't forget to add a thumbs up and stay subscribed to phone radar for more Stay tuned for our final review of uh, Sony Xperia Z3 coming soon. Thank you.